So, people ask me about uh, the difference between a stack and a heap in programming. And it can be confusing, especially when you're reading uh, the information off a textbook. When I was at university, I couldn't visualize a stack or a heap either. And the best way to think about it is uh, a stack of playing cards and a heap of rubbish. So you, the programmer, would create a function, call the function, that function, um, um, if it was going in a stack, would go on top of the stack or underneath the stack, but it would be stacked nice and neatly and once the function has been called and completed, it will then remove itself from the memory. But does how does heap work? So heap works in a very similar way, except for the fact that you have to manually delete the um, items in the heap. So you can have a program, say like, Photoshop and you're calling all these different functions and you're opening documents and it's just creating loads of um, memory to be used up and, and the memory is getting used up and what happens then is it doesn't go anywhere it's still being used by the program because you've still got that document open the moment you close that document the program uh, will know to close the function and to delete the heap. So if you've got an 800 by 600 document at 300 dpi, uh, it would come to about 4 to, I don't know, 4 to say 10 megabytes. And when you're adding stuff onto it, uh, it would be... Uh, getting larger and larger because you're adding more information to it. You're adding color, you're adding text, you're adding images and the file is getting larger. The heap is getting bigger, but that. So the heap is getting bigger. The memory allocation is getting larger and what's happening is because you're not taking anything away, because the function that you're using is not predefined as a temporary function, um, it will then stay there until manually um, killed. So the way you would manually kill it is write in your function or subroutine, uh, close the program now and delete everything from the heap and it would delete everything from the heap everything will go back to normal and you'll be able to run uh, a different program without having that memory allocation still being used up so what's faster that's another question i get asked um stack is faster for obvious reasons because you run you, you call a function, uh, the function runs, the memory gets allocated, and then off the stack, the memory comes off once the function's completed. And that's, that's the easiest way I can explain it. So um, please like and subscribe if you found this uh, video useful, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.